Okay, in this next demonstration video, I'm going to do a demo on the chamfered block. And if we look at this shape here, we'll notice that it is still 6 inches long by 3 inches wide by 2 inches tall. And it's, a, it's the overall block. The only thing is over here we have an angle here that measures 1 inch up from the bottom and 2 inches over. So I'm going to make a diagonal line here on the right side of the block and then I'm going to push that little triangle that we create back a distance of four inches because you can see down here the distance from here to here is four inches. Okay so I have gone to create a new document and I named it chamfered block. Okay, once your workspace opens up, time to start a new sketch. And I'm going to work on the top view. So I'll go to my view cube to the right, and I will look straight down on the top. I'm going to start with a rectangle from the origin. One click to start, a second click to end. I'm going to make this 6 inches, enter, by 3 inches, enter. Now I'm going to change the camera back to isometric. And I will extrude at a distance of two inches. Enter. Hit the green check mark. Next sketch. Instead of choosing front, top, or right, I'm going to choose the right side of this block right here. You can see my sketch window show up. And now I'm going to go look at the right side. So in this situation, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my line tool and my rectangle tool together. So now first I'm going to take a rectangle and I'm going to go from this corner one click to start, second click to end and I'm going to make that one inch by one inch. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the line tool and I'm going to make a line from this corner of the square down to this corner of the square. Okay. All right, now I'm going to hit the escape key to get off all of, all of my tools. When you hit the escape key, it, it releases all your tools. Okay, now I'm going to look at this camera view in isometric, okay? And I'll zoom in a little bit here. So now what I want to do, and I have my arrow, my selector, I'm going to click on that little triangle in the top corner. Now when I go to extrude, you'll notice that it just selects that triangle. Again, I do not want to add to this extrusion. I want to remove from it, but not one inch, a total of four inches. Hit enter, green check mark, and there's your chamfered block.